Today, the essential oil that I actually would love to speak with you about is cedarwood essential oil. Cedarwood is actually considered one of the ancient essential oils, and it has a very rich history, especially as it pertains to religion. Um, as far as records were kept, and today in Tibetan temples, um, cedarwood is actually used not only medicinally, but it is actually burned as incense in the temple, specifically during meditation. Now, what's interesting is, is that that's a practice used today, but historically, Egyptians actually used cedar wood in their embalming practices. It was not only thought to have been burned as incense um, while the embalming process was happening, but it was one of the key ingredients that they used when they were sending somebody to the other side, if you will. Um, also, in the Bible, it is said that the Lord's temple was lined with cedar wood. And if you can imagine the fragrance that would have been released from an entire building that was completely lined with cedar wood. Um, one of the reasons why it is thought that cedar wood is so used in religious practices is for its ability to be able to enhance the mind and to actually bring a lot of focus to your thoughts. Cedar wood can also awaken your mind to learning, specifically if you are having to um, push through something at work that maybe you have a block to, or if perhaps you're in school and you're learning a subject that you are not particularly passionate about, it's thought that if you actually diffuse cedar wood, the scent can bring you focus and it can also remove some emotional blocks that you could have around learning specific subjects or completing specific tasks. Dr. David Stewart, who is a well-known author and also the author author of Healing Oils of the Bible has a great story about him as a chemistry teacher. So I'd love for you to watch that now. It's all about cedarwood essential oils. Cedarwood oil is one of the most interesting oils of the Bible. It's mentioned in there as a blend of 50% cedarwood and 50% hyssop oil. But what most interested me was it talks about taking that blend and apply it to the right upper ear, that's right here, just below that rim, to the right thumb, and to the right big toe. And here's what those points mean. They're all three emotional releasing points. This point right here, and that part of the ear where my finger is, is where you would release issues with your mother and father. This one is most interesting because there's where you relieve blockages against learning new material. And then the right big toe is to release bad habits and compulsive behavior. But the thumb was the one that interested me, me the most, because I teach course in chemistry. There are many people out there who are very good in music, they're good in social studies, can learn almost anything, but they have a block on one subject like physics or math, chemistry. Why would you be good at everything but one field? Well, it's because on that particular field, you have an emotional block against that subject. It's not your IQ. And we can get rid of that block and open the way for you to learn that subject. So when I teach my chemistry class, I always ask everybody raise your hand who has no problem learning other subjects, but you have a problem with chemistry. Half a dozen hands go up, yeah, I never could learn it. I say, well, we're gonna take care of that right now. So we take cedarwood oil and put it on the right thumb. And I said, now that needs to get to the limbic brain. Your limbic brain is right over the roof of your mouth and below the cerebrum, so let's take your thumb, put it in your mouth, suck on your thumb, push it up there to the roof of your mouth. So the whole class is sitting there sucking their thumbs, and before it's over with, the people that couldn't learn chemistry, they can learn it. It gets rid of that blockage. Many people that couldn't even learn chemistry that I have taught are now teachers of chemistry. And it always goes back to a traumatic experience in their childhood. Usually in a classroom, with a science or math teacher who intimidated the students, embarrassed them, and humiliated them in front of everybody else. You know, stand up and recite these things and they couldn't do it, or go to the board and, and they just stood there, couldn't do it, and they were so embarrassed that they put a block right there on that subject. So the very thing the teacher was trying to do to teach them, they were blocking. Thank you so much for watching, and we want you to keep an eye out for the next essential oil education video. Thank you. 
It is our goal and mission to spread essential oil education around the globe, and that's why I am here to talk with you about hyssop essential oil. Hyssop essential oil is actually one of the oldest known essential oils. It's written in the most ancient of medicinal texts. In the Christian Bible, in Exodus 12, 22, the Lord actually ins instructs the Israelites to take branches of hyssop, dip it into a basin of blood, and then strike the lintel and the side posts of their door. Now, some have said that the reason why hyssop was chosen is because it is ordinary branches that were found in the vicinity at the time. However, others have suggested that the reason why hyssop was chosen to be in particular struck against the door jam, the top part or the lintel, and the side posts is because that action would actually release some of the essential oil that would be trapped in those branches. Upon researching hyssop essential oil, it's very interesting to actually learn the immune support that you get from hyssop essential oil. It's possibly one of the most powerful essential oils for immune system support that you can find today, as well as in the ancient times. Hyssop has been very important for several cultures and has been used for millennia to actually support the immune systems of the culture at the time. Be sure before ingesting hyssop essential oil that you have a quality of essential oil that can be ingested. You will know that you have this when it says right on the bottle that it's safe to ingest. And of course, you want to pay attention to the dosage which is written right on the bottle. If your bottle reads one to two drops, be sure to stick with only one to two drops. Don't use more because we want to treat our essential oil as if they are medicine. These are oils that come right from the earth and they should be treated as such. When diffused, the scent of hyssop essential oil is thought to enhance creativity as well as meditation. So if you are working on a particularly creative project or if you have children that are in school and they're working on that science or art project that just needs a little bit of a kick of creativity, I would highly recommend putting a couple of drops into your diffuser and diffusing it into the air while they're working on that project. Hyssop essential oil can actually be used topically so long as you have a quality of essential oils that is safe to put on the skin. Hyssop essential oil can actually reduce the look of blemishes and scars. Hyssop has also been known to soothe muscles when applied topically, particularly after a tough workout. Hyssop can be a little bit warm to the skin, so you may want to consider diluting it in coconut oil or another carrier oil and just rubbing it in for a really good massage. Hyssop has also been known to be very supportive to your respiratory system. Please keep an eye out for the next essential oil education video.